which um, of course it was a detura, but uh, belladonna was the local name that we called that particular flower. And I know that she had been painting it because we had stopped um, beside the road to pick a couple and she took them to the little cottage where she was staying to paint them that day. So I know that uh, the white um, belladonna did get walked on. <laughs> yes. Ms. Jennings, do you recall any George O'Keefe speaking about how she felt about dull pineapple? <laughs> Uh, a lot of people don't know, but when uh, when Dole brought her here, they put she put her up in a estate, and she didn't want to stay in the state. She wanted to stay in the field. So, do you, did she ever talk about that? Um, you mean as to um, did Georgia ever say anything about how she felt about Dole pineapple? Yes, I think the first night when she was with us. Uh, my father asked her how her stay in Honolulu had been, and she was quite furious because she had wanted to stay in one of the camps in Honolulu, uh, on Oahu, and uh, be near uh, where the workers there were. And she wanted to go out and examine the growing pineapple. And she was warned immediately that they were extremely dangerous and very sharp, and uh, she had best not get too near them. And uh, then she also told the story of going back to her hotel room, and they had uh, presented her with a pineapple, which, as she put it, had its head cut off, and its middle was all in spears. And in disgust, she sent it back. <laughs> yes. Thank you. I wonder if she was using a photo, uh, a camera on your expeditions. Um, if she used a camera when she was there, I never caught her at it. Now I admit she was very adamant that I not watch her paint. So I would take her to a particular spot, and I would go off and entertain myself while she painted. And um, there are photos, for instance, of, of Wainapanapa, which the Georgia O'Keeffe Museum claimed that Georgia took. But in my mind, I am very sure that they are some that Harold Stein took, because he took the picture, uh, pictures of her that, that I have, and there's one of her that clearly with the arch at Wainapanapa in the background, and Harold did take those. So I think the mus museum is mistaken, but I can't honestly say for sure. I never saw one if she had a camera. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes. Um, it sounds like your relationship with her continued after she left Hawaii. Can you say a little bit about what that was like? Yes. Um, well, she certainly had a tremendous influence on me. There's no question about it. And uh, I was terribly let down after she left. Suddenly life was terribly, terribly dull for me. <laughs> and um, I did receive, I think, I, in a period, over a period of time, four letters from Georgia. Unfortunately, only one of them do I still have. They just sort of disappeared through the years, as things do. But, um, um, and my parents did keep in touch with her. And sometime in the 50s, and I suspect, I know I was living in St. Louis then, and I received a letter from Mother telling me that they had had Georgia and, and I've forgotten, she had a companion with her. And I was, I, in my memory, which is a little vague on the letter, she was on her way to the Orient 
anyway, mother and dad were then living in Honolulu in the 50s, and she did come for cocktails there, and then I think mother and dad took her and her companion to dinner at the Outrigger Canoe Club. And there's of okay, all of the locations that you took her to, where did she seem to connect with the most? Of all the locations you took Georgia to, which place did she seem to connect with the most? I suspect Eau Valley. She really was very taken with it. And um, after we left her in Wailupu, uh, we were there for the for the weekend, my father and I, and then we left for Hana, and she stayed on for four or five days at the Maui Grand in Wailuku, and I know that she did go back, and she did, uh, anyway, she did four wonderful paintings in E.L. Yes. Yes, Mr. Hoffman. Did you end up getting any kind of feel about how long it took her to create a piece? <coughs> how long did it take Georgia to create a painting, each painting? I don't honestly know. She would do some painting when we were, we would go out in the mornings and then go back for lunch and then she would go to the little cottage and work and whether she totally completed all of her paintings at that time, I honestly don't know. Now the one that I did get at least a 10 or 15 minute watch on was one, the first one that she did in Eau Valley. And that one seemed to move remarkably fast. I could not believe the ease with which those oil paints just seemed to flow onto the canvas, but as that was my one experience of watching. And then it started to rain, and um, she, didn't, she didn't finish it then. So with how much more she did and how much later, I honestly don't know. Yes. Do you know which painting she was working on when you were in Wailua Gulch? Um, I suspect she was doing some of the foliage and she may have sketched the waterfall, I'm not sure, but I don't think that she did an actual painting of it. Sorry. Oh, the very first place I took her to was Wayanapanapa. And uh, we had gone down and looked in the cave, and I told her the legend of the cave. And I was appalled when I went back a year ago, May, to find that it isn't the original cave where they have the sign at all. I mean, it's rather an uninviting looking place, and it's not the same cave at all. And I assume that that one must have collapsed or something. But anyway, after that, we went down to the little uh, black sand beach, and there was a canoe shed, which was, ha which was a stone base and then thatched with, with hollow leaves. And um, I told her that we had a watercolor that uh, Robert Lee Eskridge had done, and which had won an award, watercolor award in Chicago. And I said, and he had painted that. And I think she said something about, well, that's fine, but I absolutely do not like to be watched, so run on and entertain yourself someplace else, which is what I did. <laughs> we have time for two more questions, sir. Oh, I saw your hand up, but I didn't know you had this for a question. I thought you were just in that posture. <laughs> Do you have a question? I'm so sorry. I was going to call you earlier, but I thought it was just the way you were sitting. <laughs> yes, please. How long 
long did it take for Georgia to paint a picture of a flower? Well, I suspect that she did that one, that same particular day. But if it's walk, ha, lucky having walked across it, I'm sure she had to do a little more work to it. <laughs> <laughs> one more question now. And yes. Did she do any uh, like studies in watercolor before she went into the oil? Or was it just straight on oil the whole time? Do you know if Georgia did watercolors before she started doing oil? I don't know. Uh, she certainly was doing just oil paintings when she was with, with, you know, on that visit. And I don't recall ever seeing any watercolors she did. But presumably in her early days when she was studying, she went to the Art Institute in Chicago first, and uh, she may well have done watercolors. I don't really know. But she didn't have like a sketchbook. She did sketch. She definitely sketched. And I suspect that some of the paintings she did later was for, was from sketching she did. Thank you. Shall I take a few more questions? Yeah. Someone, the gentleman I called earlier with the black hat. Yeah. Oh, uh, what about uh, her art supplies? Did she bring all her art supplies with her when she came to Hawaii, or did she have to purchase some around here and have a hard time? What was the source of her art supplies? Well, she, though she had it Hana, she brought with her. But when she left, she left her oil paints and she left her easel behind with instructions to see that Robert Lee Eskridge get them when on his next visit. And I don't believe that she did any painting on her visit then to the Big Island. She did a lot of sightseeing, but I don't believe she painted then. Anyone else who hasn't already asked a question? Yes. Um, so towards the end of your time together, did she become less difficult? <laughs> oh, she was, she was really very tolerant of me. And... Um, I, in fact, I noticed in her letters at one point to Stiglitz, she even made the remark that there was also a dog. So, <laughs> she evidently must have made some impression. <laughs> yes. Were you inspired to draw or paint yourself after she left your home? Were you inspired to draw or paint yourself after she left? No, I think I realized I didn't have the talent. I, I think it's something I regretted that I never anywhere in my brief schooling. That early age was when you start something, you finish it and you stick to it. And I have really, it, it, that has stood me in good stead the rest of my life. Thank you very much. Oh.